All right, so I'm starting to configure one of the Giga Beams. Um, I'm gonna set up a username and password. I have the link side of the PoE, and sorry, it's dark, um, plugged in to my fiber router, which is on the same network. And then at the PoE, going in well did maybe it shut off yeah have my poe going in which you can see here And I've typed in my username and my password. I'm going to hit save. Now, because it's on the same network. Now, because I wasn't entirely for sure what IP it was going to get, I ran an application on my phone called Thing, which scanned my network. And then it showed me devices. And then the Gigabeam was at 192.168.1.22. All right. All right. It says management radio is enabled and will be active for 14 minutes and three seconds. Um, now you could do this through an application, uh, which it does have the 2.4 gigahertz management radio, um, but I didn't. I decided not to, to download the app to use that. And I'm not going to go into it right now with everything. This is just more of a quick update video. But here's what it looks like. Arrow S. Here's the dashboard. 60 gigahertz radio not connected. 5 gigahertz radio. Nice. This is all new to me, so I've just been doing a lot of research. Um, I've watched a lot of videos, but this should be fun. Dashboard, wireless, access point off, SSID. Okay. Ah. It looks like by default it's set to DHCP instead of static. From all the videos, I said the static IP would be 192.168.1.20, which is what I initially tried the first time. But this is just a look. I will do this later. I have to go to work early in the morning. Um, let's check for updates. Former update CC is available. So let's go ahead and download this update. All right. Let's go ahead and select update. This might take a while. I'm going to hit pause. 
And we're getting close to halfway. Gonna hit pause again. I don't wanna touch it in case uh, I don't wanna, you know, accidentally disconnect power mid firmware upgrade. Because the cable that I'm using doesn't have a uh, clip on it to lock it in place. And this is the current firmware version. I'm going to use this to compare it to the once it's completed. Ah, here we go. Log in. I'm going to pause it and log in. All right, let's log in and let's see if the firmware updated. Well, hold on a second. Helps if you type in the right username. All right. So I can see that the firmware version is different. Management radio, yes understand that all right well this is a um, very basic and first intro video to configuring i will do that later as you can see it is uh 11 20 p.m and i have to be up for work second one still in the box i haven't opened it i'll do that later But uh, I'm pretty pumped. I've recently got fiber, as mentioned earlier. And I'm going to upgrade to gigabit as of July 1st. And I wanted to share this internet connection with the shop. Which I plan on um, doing a car re restoration project at some point. And I would like internet in the shop while I'm doing that. For music and potentially some Netflix or you know that kind of thing. Anyway, it's a very quick little video. Techmaster170 out.